you know, I'm a big fan of like uh, like Dungeons and Dragons, and tabletop kind of things and like map making kinds of stuff. And this is one that I saw popped up here a few months ago. And then actually Polydemons uh, sent me an email saying, hey, would you like to check this thing out? And so uh, I said, yes, please, because it looks pretty neat. And uh, we've seen some of these things like not like Wonder Draft, but like um, Dungeon Dungeon Draft and uh, uh, Tailspire. And I've shown a couple of these. Uh, and they're, they're basically just like you can craft a little world for your tabletop games or whatever. And this is a new one that I saw was was in there and it looked like a pretty neat thing. I want to show it off. Oh, it has Hero Forge in there. Look at that. Um, it is like Dungeons and Dragons fantasy style, but it also has like, well, there you go. Example. Uh, not just Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Anyway, enough pictures. Let's take a look at it. And see what this thing is and what you can do with it. I've only dabbled with it a bit, but I'll try to show off what I can. All right, let me change my... Uh, I don't think this is going to be in here. Uh, no, we're going to call this just... I don't know. We're, uh, we're, uh, just that one. Okay. Alright, so let me give a little tour of this. I'll, I'll do what I can because I uh, I've dabbled a bit, just enough to kind of get get uh, kind of knowing what's going on here, and I'll try to show it off. But basically, you'll have a, a, your your DM, your GM, whatever will have will will play the will will build the world, and then you can invite players in. There is a way of doing this where you don't have to pay. There's like a demo version. Uh, I think that I think the DM has to be on demo version as well. I'm not entirely sure how that works. I think it mentions it on the Steam page. You can read that. But if you buy it, um, the the GM will come in here and make a campaign. Let's call this campaign uh, live. And create that campaign. So it throws you into some worlds. And it's going to give us a little default one here. And I'll give you a tour of what, what this thing is. So this is your encounter map, whatever. You're here at, a, at, a, at an encampment. And you can set up to where, like, these guys are, like, assigned to your players. Um and and then I, as you move, I move ten feet up. Well, you can actually tell them, you can actually move them on the map. And so, say you're like, uh, go move here, and then we'll say, I'm ready to go in the, in the combat with this dwarf. This is what's playing out here on on the uh, on the thing. And then you can go and and I want you to uh, attack. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. This guy. Oh, he, you need to get. Let's give him a um. Let's give him a weapon. How about um. We want to give him a uh, um, is that a chainsaw? No, it's a machine gun. <laughs> okay, let's give him a let's give him a cleaver. And I think well oh, here, I think we just come in here and we just click it on, click and drag the thing. If I can click it onto him, and there he goes. It's I think did it go in his hand? Didn't work. I give him a cleaver. No, well, there it is. Oh, I just gotta click. There it goes. And then there he goes. And now he's got a cleaver in his hands. And so we can just stay like. Um. Uh, this guy, I want you to uh, none of that. I want to. I want you to to uh, um, a death. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point of the game. That's really that important. The point of the game is like, or not the game the program here is to like build things. And uh, so this is just an example of what you can make. Um, and there's all the different props they have in a thing. Let's go make a new world though, and see what we can what we can come up with. Um, oh yeah, character sheet. We want to go do a new world though, and new place. So you can go to the Steam browser. I saw this some in Steam people have made already. Um, this is just a solo dev working on this thing. Let's go into the town. We can make our own, but we'll go to the town first and see how that looks. <clears throat> All right. So welcome to the town. Uh, we do have like music and things in here. Let's let's play some music. Can we hear it? Here we go. Okay, nice tunes hanging in here. We've got some, uh, like, all this stuff. I can, like, turn the lights on and off. Uh, if I want to go and start building things, I can do that. We can come in here and we can, like, if we want to pick, like, um, we can put creatures in there. Uh, how do we search here? I forget my search button. Uh, I mean, like, like maybe it's like, like, it's, like, a category thing. I forget how to pull that one up. But we can say I want, like, um... I want, to, I want building stuff, and so we want to, we can make our own building from scratch if we want to do that. 
Um, we can even put in like constructed things. It's kind of loud. There's pre-made houses in there. That's loud. Uh, how did I do that before? I forget how I turned the how I turned it down before. <laughs> I don't know how I changed the volume of it. Uh, how did I do it before? Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix it. Oh, it's playing again. Music and settings. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so there's pre-made things and and, and you, some some things are very big that you can put in. Uh, and just make a map for like a you know tabletop world or whatever. Uh, we can change like the. Um, let's see how we do it here. We can we can have effects coming in here. Do this, this one's cool. Like that. Cool effects. There's a bunch of these in here. Um, you can you can roll. You have a dice roller, of course. You can have. There's a chat window you can keep open. Um, roll that. GM rolled. It's rolled 16 for like tabletop RPG things. Um, you can invite folks in, of course, to your to your to your um, your maps. Uh, so the GM will invite players in, and I got two maps now in this campaign. Uh, what else can we do here? Those are rolling, and then as far as that, so we got props, which is that building thing we show all there. We can come in here. We can do the train sculpting. If we want to like just like raise some hills up. We can do that. If you want to color the road, we can change that to like a like a red road. I have a nice red road coming through here. Um. And we can change the world visibility. Quite sure that does for us. That. Oh, Fog of War. Fog of War. Right, right. So if you've got, like, your characters or your PCs, you can come in here and you can, like, make it to where they can't see that. You can see it view as a player. It would just look like... Oh, I guess Dark, so you wouldn't see it. You'd see it, but you wouldn't see if there's any creatures or whatever in there. All right. I think there is actually some creatures already in here. Yeah, there's a guy with a... There's a guy right there. So your players would have control over this these these folks, and then they've got this. I guess they're with Hero Forge now, which you can make your own figures. But if you don't want to do that, you want to make your own. There's the menu. We can go to Entities, and you can just find yourself a character. Uh, I'm gonna be. I, I'm a. I'm a guy with a cool hat. You go place that guy in there. You can give him your weapons. You know. Put your, uh, that's not a skeleton. Um, there you go. Put some folks in here. We can click on them, I think, and then move them around somehow. He's gonna laugh. <laughs> there you go. Um, he's a jolly, uh, he's a jolly, uh, uh, demon. Okay, no, enough of that. Enough of that. Run over there. There you go. Laser shots. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. Gets hit. Ooh. It's almost like like it's... I don't know. You can make it to where... I'm not sure what. It's so much. So many effects that you throw in there. It'd be, it'd be really... I don't know what to say. Like, uh, if you're playing this as a D&D &D campaign, it'd be interesting. That's for sure. Set up scenarios... Or something for a DD game. Yeah, the, the I saw in the Steam page they have it set up to read like you can have like a camera like fly through and set up like cinematic things. There's mist, nighttime. Oh yeah, we haven't done anything with the with the sky. So we'll set up nighttime. We can um we can change that here where the sun is. And how bright it is. You can change the colors of the sky and all that too. Um There's a cutout settings for like, that, that's what, not not fog of war, but cutting things out so people can't see it. I think is what that is. Um, yeah, neat stuff. Let's go look at um, over here. Let's do a new map. Let's go to. It's pretty neat security point. Look at that one. I want to look at it. We'll just try it. We'll try a blank map real quick. And we'll create a map. Uh, we want. There's our. So yeah, we'll make a big one. 
80 by, um, I don't care how high it is, 5 by 80. Okay. Make me a map. Well, map name. Uh, map name. Name. Okay, flip up a big map. Oh, that's quick. Big map. Now, we can come in. Let's do some terrain first. I want, we want to go up. I don't want to paint. I want that. Make some mountains over here. That's about as high as we can go, I guess, right there. Uh, we can go get some greens. Greenify everything here. This might be a kind of a big map. Hey, <laughs> Anverpia, how's it going? Might be a little better color there. Yeah. There we go. And then, I'm not sure if we have water in this or not. Surely we do. I'm not sure how to do it, though, actually. I can go down and make it... Okay, I got both checked, so they can. They, it's going to go down and turn it blue. So there's our. There's, that'll be our ocean. It's going to be a little bumpy. I probably shouldn't have gone on such a big map. For a quick map. There's, uh, there's that. There's our ocean. Uh, let's put in some props in here, then. Let's get, um... I want a building. What's prefab? Oh, nothing's in there. Yet, I guess. Let's find, like, a good little, uh, little house. There's so many. There's so many. Uh, they did say, like, there's, like, I don't know, tons of stuff in here. Uh, like the number of it, but I don't know what it was. We'll put that in there. We can actually change this thing a little later. I see a dad joke. I hear a dad joke. Get it in just seconds. Uh, oh, but open the door. Yeah, yeah, open the door. Ah, look at that. Too bad we can't... Too bad we can't, like, cut away the church and actually go in there. Actually, you can kind of go in there, can't you? Never mind, take it back. Um... Okay, rulers, we've got that. Uh, we, I got a dad joke, dad joke. Um... So these two cowboys are lost in the desert. This one cowboy, he sees this tree draped in bacon, believe it or not. And he shouts out, a bacon tree! We're saved! So he goes running up to the tree, and as soon as he gets to the tree, he gets all shot up with bullets. Well, it wasn't a bacon tree. It was a hambush. <laughs> so that, that one amused me. Uh, um, let's get a... Um, what is that? I want a favorite. I want to look at that. That's not what I want. I want, um... Maybe some environments, like some nice rock. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Nice rocks. Um, I haven't figured out really how to how to move things too well yet. Because it's going to be kind of high enough the side here. We can do it. I think this way we can rotate that. Uh, there's a button for this. But I don't remember how to do it. There it is. Rotate this guy around. We can go down a little bit. We can, like, rotate him uh, somehow. But I don't know how to do it. Let's go. Like, I don't. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know how to do this. I didn't mess with this much. So, uh, we'll do that one. We can put some trees in there. One thing we can do cool. I'll show the cool thing. I remember how to do this. Uh, here we go. So, we got this. We got a bush right here, right? A ham bush. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we can set this thing up as we want random rotations. We want, um, we want a, uh, where is this one? I think that's what we want. Is this that? And then, no, no, no. I come out here where it's flat. That's not what I want. Uh... So there's ways of, like, randomly doing it. So as you put a bunch out, they will randomly, like, it'll 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 change them all. So they're not going to be the same tree every time. That makes sense? I think it's what I got, actually, here. Because it's, it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Okay, so we want... That one to be... Z <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my Z level? I don't... Okay. So you could, every time you put one down, it's going to be a little bit different. <laughs> you get the idea. If you're good at this, you know what you're doing. You can place a whole forest out there, and it wouldn't be wouldn't be looking like that. Um, 
yeah, you get, you get the idea. Uh, um, let's go put in like some, um, is that, a, is that a, a nail gun? It is a nail gun. Okay. The coolest thing though is you can put these vent entities in here. Let's get this, um, I show this a little bit. Let's put a horsey in. Oh, the horsey's gonna be all confused now because I got that thing set up weird. So yeah, back, back that way. Let's get the doggy. Doggy? Okay. Uh, doggy, can I can I give you can I give you like a weapon? You want that? Oh, I can! I can put a machine gun on a dog's butt. What? You want a missile on there too? Oh yeah, he does. Okay. That's what that's what he wants. And then we can tell this dog to bark. Maybe there's because nothing else out here. Let's put something else out here and see if we can get something else to, to attack him. Okay, so I want you to attack. Um, let's try to do that one. Any melee attack? I think it's supposed. To, he's just supposed to attack. Maybe because he's barking. There he goes. Yeah, there he goes. Bark, bark, bark. Okay, he can sit. Good boy. This guy can turn around and um, take a bow shot. If he had a bow, it would make more sense. Yeah. Anyway, there's my little scene that I made. Um, it's fantasy, so you know things like that happens in fantasy worlds. One more thing. Let's see if I can get a boat. Oh, no boats. How about a ship? Uh, no ships. I want a boat, though. Uh, vehicles. Yeah, there's boats. Oh, yeah, look at that. Neat. Okay. Golf carts. Can I do anything with these? These things, these things do things? No, that one doesn't. No, no. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, it's a very neat little thing. I think I've showed everything off. Uh, now I'm getting sidetracked. We saw that. We saw the, there's the grid settings. We can change that if we want it. If you want hexes, you can do that. Um, if you want just lines, I guess you can do that. And the color and, and whether it's shown even or not is, is, is there. Um, we can, like, throw a, a, an aura around the doggy. There he goes. He's got a shield, but the doggy's going to throw in, like, some green things in here. Boom. Uh, let's do one of these guys. Neat effects. There's a bunch of them, too. It's, and again, there's all one one guy working on this thing. I think it's a guy. One, one person working on this. And pretty impressive. Uh, like, one and a half things. What is this? One and a half people working on this thing. Pretty neat stuff. So, anyway, uh, there also is there, there's a potato mode if uh, if your computer's not up, up to snuff. And, um, yeah. I just thought it was really neat, and I want to show it off. I've shown these things off a few times. Uh, these, these sort of um, campaign builder, world building things. And I think this one's a neat thing. Uh, if you are a player, you can join in the lobby. Someone will, will invite you in, I guess. You join the lobby. Um... There's a spider up there. Um, there's a tutorial there if you need help with it. Maybe I should have watched a little closer. Uh, but it's here on Steam. And so it's, it's 20 bucks. I don't remember what it says about... So I know that there is a demo. And I think... And I'm pretty sure the, the dev or the, the GM and the players can both play on the demo mode for free. I'm not quite sure how that works. He does mention it in the tutorial thing. And there's some videos on YouTube and he mentions that. But anyway, uh, a very neat little um, builder uh, out there. And I think we can go over here and we can see things that have been made. Yeah, look at all this stuff we can, we can get that have already been made. Even creatures and things. There's a house. There's a village with secrets. Oh, it's a big village. Cool. 
I like I love this stuff, and so uh, you're gonna have to bear with me as I show off this stuff. Uh, oh, there's a, a um, character sheet right there. It's a character sheet of the game. I've added in. Someone's working on building castles and things for it. Neat, neat. I'm curious about how the Hero Forge support works. Um, you mean you get, you mean you can bring in your own characters rather than having to do with what they've got there. That's pretty neat. There's one right there. What do they call it? The, the Hunter Biomech. Look at that. Cool. Anyway, um, there is the RPG engine, uh, which is out now.